Howdy, everybody. Sergey Drachev uh, photo over here. And today I'm back in uh, Iroquois uh, Wildlife uh, Park. Uh, wanted to come back here in my car, whereas before I was here with my truck. And also I changed the camera, right? So I had 7200, then I had 7500. And today, for the first time back here, I'm shooting with uh, D500. So this is New York, just uh, east of Lakeport, north of Batavia. And I'll be shooting with the image stabilization on, handheld, aperture priority mode. And I last time, oh yeah, and I increased the uh, so aperture priority, basically 5.6, and I increased the uh, uh, narrowed down the range actually of ISO before it was 500 to maximum. Now I just changed it to 640 just to make it a, qu a bit quicker. And also I changed the um, I tried vivid plus one like what I do usually you know like vivid picture control and then I turn the dial plus one and it seemed a bit darker I don't know so it, I'm gonna try something a bit more subtle uh, which is standard plus one it's still pretty much the same uh, like the same saturation contrast but uh, the camera seems to produce very nice uh, results if you can see at my uh, at my uh, you can see my previous video uh, called the, from 7500 to D500. I took some test shots at the lake over there in Canada. And I'm using spot metering, but like this camera, I programmed the preview button. If I press it, it switches to matrix, and I'm shooting an AFC uh, with a sh with a with a shutter with a focus on the shutter button. But this camera has AF on button, and I programmed it for group autofocus, whereas I'm I'm using single single autofocus like as default but if I cannot achieve focus with that one I will switch to uh, group autofocus it's a bit noisy because of some cars but like this way it's very quiet uh, basically the plan today is uh, over here in this park they have a bunch of uh, areas like this they call them uh, observation areas where you can park and you know usually you can see something right like the, the these observation areas I think they have like four or five of them along uh, this highway 77 and I think there's a like I see them on my Google Maps so that's what I want to do I just I don't want to you know walk in the woods I need the open area for photography oh I see a duck in there so the plan is yeah let me go over there and we'll see what we can find Heron, but as usual, they're very afraid of people, so it sits in the middle of the pond. Oh boy, somehow I, I didn't take this into account this wet grass. You would think that the guy driving to the park would uh, wear boots. <laughs> I just have sneakers. See, I love this. Like, this is so beautiful. Like, people take care of. You see, like they made this little path, and there's a bench here. But oh, it's not actually a bench. It's like, or well, maybe it's a bench. But I think you can stand on it. But yeah, you see that. Uh, Heron, it's behind this, so I could only see it from that area. All right, let's see what else we can find. Yeah, the 
sign over there said Tonawanda, but it's two parts of the same park. I'm just gonna go and try to find more uh, observation areas. I was driving here in my semi truck the other day, and I remember seeing these uh, little parking areas. There should be one on the right coming up. Summer, what do we have? Bluebirds, Baltimore Oriole, Wobbler, we have Hawks, actually I saw them from the truck. And this is Fall with Blue Jay, Robin, Turkey. See in winter they even have um, owls in here. Oh, I saw these, so it's called Bufflehead, that's what it is. Buffalo head and then here grouse. That's an interesting. That's an interesting bird. Okay, that's all like hunting areas. there there's a tree just like a bare piece of wood sticking into the sky with no branches no leaves and I saw something there some kind of a shape so when I look through the viewfinder it looks like a hawk like a big bird but it's so far I don't know it's probably like 400 meters <laughs> so I switched to a 1.3 crop Take a few shots. Okay. My focus point didn't even hit the the bird, so let's use uh, group focus. One of them got it. Yeah, it is something, but like, again, it's too far. <laughs> Bastard. She was sitting, like I saw her neck sticking out. And as soon as she as soon as she saw my head, she started flying and she went like this. And uh, see, I knew I, I knew there would be something in here. Oh wow, it's pretty good. Oh, this one is okay. See group focus is really oh now it I, I see it sitting on the on the branch so group focus is really nice but only when you get you can get fast to it you know I probably want to increase the ISO even further give you an idea of the power of this lens that's my car over there right about I would say 250 meters now check this out I put 
I zoom zoom in to 500 millimeters, which is 750 actual. And let's let's say we zoom in. All right, if I get about this joystick, which makes it easy to change focus points. See now with 800, uh, ISO 800, and shooting at f5.6, the camera chose 120, 25 hundredths of a second. Nice. See how the license plate is clearly visible. Very sharp. Unfortunately, this is not Africa, right? So wildlife here is never the size of that car. So I have to be really close, like that sign over there that says uh, waterfowl hunting prohibited. So shall we say 40 meters, right? If I zoom out to 500 millimeters, it looks like this, which is okay. And that, that would be a big bird. You know, but any smaller than that, and you have to do lots of cropping. still works. Oh yeah, I see. I wonder if I can get to there. There's a little lake over there. A whole bunch of A whole bunch of wildlife, but it's very far. But I see like big shapes. Yeah, I saw them last time. There, there was like now I think it's more like geese. Last time I saw. Wait a second. I'm talking. If things are flying in the sky. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff over there. I see two herons way in the distance yeah this is great for them because it's so far right far away they don't want to be close to people all right i see a little bath in there let's go check it out oh i can go all over there like there's no signs that says that you cannot do it Let's do it. I hope you guys and girls are not not falling asleep yet. I'm trying to keep it uh, entertaining and instructional. So wildlife photography involves a lot of a lot of walking and sometimes waiting. Yeah, I don't see anything. There was a heron in the very corner. But uh, very far away. And as soon as I started walking, it flew, but like it was flying also very far. And also, I know you guys probably wondering what the fast continuous 
sounds like on this camera. Until now I was shooting with uh, 5 frames per second. So from now on we'll be shooting in the professional mode 10 frames a second. Yeah, so I walked all around this little lake here. So now my feet are all wet. it is it looks like a small lake and then I start walking all right we have something flying over there I'm not sure what it is might be just a seagull Wow, this is the first time ever I use uh, 10 frames a second. Oh yeah, okay, so that other one ended over here. And this is the actual Iroquois National Wildlife Refuge. And when I was crossing the border, right, I came from Canada. The guy says, where are you going? He said, Iroquois National Wildlife Park. And the guy made a face as if he beat a lemon and he says, what? I guess he didn't like my uh, pronunciation or something. But I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Iroquois wildlife, just to keep it simple, park, right? And the guy, the guy says, uh, are you going to be selling these pictures? Jesus. I said, Facebook and YouTube. Okay. Have a good day. I hate these guys sometimes, you know. They try to see a criminal. Because, you know, the rule at the border is... When you cross the border, the rule is you are guilty unless you prove you're innocent it's like a, the opposite of the of the <laughs> five cents was melted into the pavement so yeah at the border the rule is opposite from the civilized world so you have to prove that you're not here to do anything illegal and Yeah, and the most important thing they want to see is that, that you have a reason to come back to, to your country. That, you know, you have a house, you, have, you, you don't have all your belongings with you, right? And the guy looks at the computer, he says, why are you here so often? I said, I'm a trucker. Oh, what's in Michigan? Like, what Michigan? said I cross the border from Canada usually either via Port Huron Michigan if I go west to Illinois Iowa stuff like that or I cross over here but mostly in uh, Buffalo New York when I go south and southwest all right have a good day <laughs> oh. I keep forgetting what they call these uh, birds It's like a duck, but has a weird shaped uh, head and it can dive. Like I saw them, uh, you know, fishing, so to speak, and they go underwater completely. I think it's probably them over there, unless it's geese. So let me get into my car. But I know there's no parking anywhere there. It's just the side of the road. Like I already know this area a little bit because 
a little bit further down there's a walking trails in there where you can park but this place that lake i'm pointing at where i see some some big shapes in the water that's like in the middle of nowhere and you cannot get to it that's why they're all there <coughs> because there's no danger of danger for them from people i hope i didn't catch any of those bad things in the tall grass they say you gotta be careful <coughs> when you walk on the tall grass you can catch those uh, what they call them. you know that can go into your skin and start sucking your blood I don't want to waste time with these small birds, what looks like uh, swallows, or in Russian, lastachka. Uh, they're too fast and they're too small. <laughs> Maybe I'll just shoot them sitting there on the wire. I want to hear this. 10, 10 frames a second thing again. Well, I nailed the focus on the middle bird. But they've been dark. Oh, one eight thousand of a second, are you crazy? Okay, let's use our compensation, plus one. Oh, uh -oh wait a second. What do you guys think? <laughs> See that? It's so fast. Oh, that's another one over there. Let's try to catch that one. Where is it? It's a heron, and of course I forgot that I have a, oh, see you can do this on this camera, oh well, that's something, but yeah I forgot that I, <laughs> I used the exposure compensation. Okay, let's go see if we can park somewhere there. Yeah, and I'm just passing the lake and the signs everywhere. No stopping. No stopping. Oh, there's something here. Cayuga Pool Overlook. Okay. Oh wow, I see lots of uh, lots of uh, herons over there. But of course, as soon as they see me. Sandhill cranes. Because they're pretty big. And they're white. And one difference I learned between uh, herons and uh, cranes is that how they fly. 
like herons keep their they keep their neck bent. Oh, there's one over there. And some small ducks swimming around it. But I know I know if I try to go there to the corner they will all fly away. Well, let's try it. Let's just set up uh, maybe slightly higher aperture to give me some room. Launching, landing, or disturbing of wildlife by aircraft drones on the refuge is prohibited. Now what is that? This is a small bird sitting on top of a reed. Just took a couple of shots. Those uh, those two uh, cranes are sitting, and I did like a couple of frames with both of them. And first, I focus on the one on the left, and then I focus on the one on the right. And check this out: the red dot representing the focus is straight on the bird. I'm trying to see which mode uh, is not oversaturated, and I played with standard. I know. Uh, vivid landscape and I know some people use landscape for this landscape mode but landscape makes the green kind of like too lush right I want to shoot let's say a bird sitting in the grass I don't want the grass to distract the viewer right from the bird and so I settle up on uh, Settle up on vivid, just vivid, without plus one. But I increase the sharpening to five, you know, and left like the saturation, the contrast, the same. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of ducks in there, but. I didn't eat anything in the morning because I got up like at 5.30 today. I started driving from from where? Jordan Station. Right. 
so I'm not sure how much longer <laughs> but this is a very good spot how much longer I'll be shooting wildlife but one place I do want to go to is the place where I was last time uh, in my truck oh yeah that's where I wanted this Iroquois NVVR Kampf Marsh so this is a really nice uh, area but just a little bit further like last time I was here there's another there's a what is it called Swallow Hollow on this side but it's all trees in there it's good for just basically walking you know But I know just further down over here. Just yeah, probably. I'm thinking it's like a, like a maybe a mile. Yeah, this is called. Uh, Cayuga Pool Overlook Cayuga Pool Overlook Iroquois word meaning wildlife. On this trail you will discover the diversity of nature. But so parking, then we go like this, and this yellow trail, the observation platform. Over here, and this is the boardwalk. But over here I don't want to go over there, there's all trees. But this is near the lake. That's my like this one and this one. That's where we are. That's what we're trying to get. Yeah, see? This kind of like climate I don't like. Too many branches, too many trees. So, so we're gonna get to an open area. Very nice here, shady. It's uh, end of August, still warm. Okay, so we are the split. See the yellow 
yellow trail goes here, blue one goes here and here. It's like a big circle. Uh, last time I did the entire thing, but like I said, it's mostly mostly uh, the woods. You know, sometimes I wonder. I go through these uh, super remote areas, and sometimes I wonder if they're might be frequented by by some serial bad people <laughs> but like I said my camera is pretty heavy so I can use it for self-protection okay another one yellow this way yeah forget the blue see much over here. <laughs> I don't see anything. Since we're already here, at least let's go get some ducks. Okay, this is it. This is a very nice place over here because there's water on this side and there'll be water on this side. And we're just crossing via our raised boardwalk. So the sun is this way, so I cannot shoot this way, but I can shoot this way. Alright, what are you guys? Alright, here we go. That's where I wanted to go. I remember this place because you'll see. It's so great. mosquitoes
then once you're off the boardwalk, you go into that, to those woods, which I don't want to do. So we'll just come back this way to the car and go find a diner. I'm starving. And maybe so much time outside, it's not healthy. saying too much exercise can kill you. Alright. I think I see something, but... Don't be scared. I try to avoid the uh, uncooked meat. Uh oh. I got you. There's a. There's a. There's a log. And there's a heron. sitting with its back towards me. It's uh, cleaning its feathers. Oh, there's another one over there. This one. focus right in the eye but it's a bit washed out why yeah I see it cut off some highlights because of the oh probably okay okay I got you let's what's in there Switch back to bastard. <laughs> Flew away. Shit. All right, we have something big sitting on a tree in there. Hmm. It looked like a hawk. The images I see are better out of this camera. Then out of the D7500. See, I switched to uh, quickly to group of the focus. Let's see if I caught at least one. No. 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 One possible. Okay, but with the, the bird was with the back to me, so. But you see how fast I can react with this camera. I can switch pretty much instantaneously to group autofocus. Oh, and that's why, because I, I mean, that's why it's not sharp, because I started, I started tracking, 
and I switch from sports back to normal like my uh, vibration reduction for tracking you need sport all right I think it's time to call it a day it's funny like nothing on this side you know see these birds they don't like this but basically yeah this is just like a swamp so they don't like this so they like open water away from people so this was nice not too bad so tomorrow it's back to work for me but today I'm enjoying the good life the last shot check this out 